Hey everybody, Pastor Steven Anderson here from Faithful Word Baptist Church in Tempe, Arizona. And this morning, we were all over the news in South Africa. I mean, but it's so funny how this Minister Jigaba, you know, wants to kind of flex his political muscle by saying, you know, we are going to limit his visit. You know, and, and by limiting my visit, they're saying, he's not going to be allowed to preach against homos or whatever. Well, guess what? I never planned on preaching against yes, homos. We should, we should refrain from having people like this in our country. I think as a country, we come from the era whereby we have been hurt so much. So we don't want to experience such things. So and it's up to us to protest against that message or say something or even throw a tomato or call the guy an asshole or a person an asshole. But I would feel safer if the government would not get involved or make uh, it. You know, not everybody has to accept this homosexual agenda that's being crammed down everybody's throat. It's pretty obvious that anytime you watch Hollywood movies or TV shows, there's just so much homosexuality. Well, Pope Francis has said that Christians should apologize to, to gays. What do you think of that? Well, I think Pope Francis should apologize to Christians for being such a compromising, you know, false prophet. I mean, to sit there and say that we should accompl uh, to, to apologize to gays, first of all, I don't use the word gay because gay means happy. And they're not happy, they're perverted. I believe that all homosexuals are pedophiles. If you actually... And here's the good news and the bad news about this, you know. The good news is that there's 50 less pedophiles in this world because, you know, these homosexuals are a bunch of disgusting perverts and pedophiles. That's who was a victim here, are a bunch of just disgusting homosexuals at a gay bar, okay? Because well, saying that I believe that homosexuals should be put to death is completely different than condoning a guy going in and shooting up a, a sodomite bar. I believe that they should be executed by the government, which, by the way, in 79 countries in this world, homosexuality is still illegal, and in many places it does carry the death penalty. Well, basically, I'm coming there to hold what's called a soul-winning marathon, and I've already held events like this all over the United States in about eight or nine different cities. And basically, a bunch of people who listen to my sermons online will come out, and we all get together, we have breakfast, and then we go out knocking doors, just telling people about Jesus, telling people how to be saved.